This is a 1971 Mercedes-Benz 280 SE 3.5 Cabriolet. These are often celebrated as the last of the hand assembled by the company. The first post-war Mercedes with an engine displacing more than three liters and for elegance through and through. The fuel-injected 3.5-liter V8 put out approximately 200 horsepower and could propel these luxurious and surprisingly nimble cruisers to a top speed approaching 125 miles an hour, and were significantly quicker to accelerate than their six-cylinder 280 series siblings. This one, VIN number 003572, was assembled in Mercedes Zindelfingen plant in January of 71. From the data plate, we know it was a US version painted metallic moss green in glazerit paint. It was equipped with an automatic transmission with floor shift, an outside mirror on the left side, bare air conditioning with power windows, and a Becker Europa radio with a power antenna. Remember that everything is cyclical in this It was sold new on February 26, 1971 to a Mr. Stewart by a Mercedes dealer in Fort Wayne, Indiana. We believe it changed hands in the early 70s and made its way to Milwaukee, Wisconsin, where it was owned by an advertising executive who had it serviced by Concord Motors from 1975 through the 80s. The second owner described his long-term ownership and his family's participation in the annual 4th of July parade riding in the Mercedes in a letter to the Colorado-based third owner shortly after his purchase of the 3.5 in 1989. Early in 1990, the third owner commissioned Gun Barrel Import Motors, Inc. of Boulder, Colorado to restore the car. They were given the directive to inspect all mechanicals and refurbish as necessary. The car also received an engine out respray in metallic moss green, and the top and interior were refurbished as well. Post-restoration, the third owner moved to Arizona, and the Mercedes was part of a large collection, and was only driven approximately 3,000 miles in his 22 years of ownership. The current owner first encountered the car in 2010 on a checkered flag club tour of this collection. Within 10 minutes and a handshake, a deal was made. And in its current Northern California home, it's covered a little over 7,500 miles in the last 14 years. There are no glaring flaws to catch your eyes in the interior. All of the wood trim and dash are excellent. The only non-standard part you'll find is the addition of retracting shoulder harness front seat belts added by the current owner. If you're really paying attention, you'll notice there is one flaw. The cover for the driver's armrest pivot bolt is missing. The passenger side is present. There's really nothing to report in the footwell or under dash area. There are no marks or scuffs to be found on the door panels. And the doors themselves make this glorious sound.
and there's no ugliness lurking on the door bottoms. Unlike most soft tops of the era, these feature a headliner. And from the outside, there are no tears or wear marks, and the rear window is clear. This one is manually operated. The front latches are undone by a special tool. Under the hood is the 3.5 liter V8 with Bosch D-Jetronic fuel injection. Back in 1990, at 58,000 miles, the fuel injection was rebuilt, a valve job was performed with new intake and exhaust valves and guides, the timing chain was replaced with seals, motor, transmission, and radiator mounts. The valves were adjusted again in 2012, and the current owner has comprehensively gone through the AC system and upgraded to R134A, and just this year replaced the steering box. Let's talk engine numbers. The stamped block number ending in 003187 matches the number recorded by the dealer in the service book. Moving on to the trunk, there are no apparent signs of bodywork on the underside of the lid or on the rear panel. Removing the liner and spare reveals a solid floor all the way around. and the rubber is in good shape. In the air, you can see the front radiator support is solid. Another area that commonly shows scars from corrosion or damage repair is the area around the headlamps, which here looks factory. The transmission was replaced in 2012 at 62,736 miles. The rear suspension compensator was replaced in December of 2010 at 61,800 miles. and the shocks were done around the same time. Wheels and tires. 
The tires are 20570R14s and call themselves Cintra Plus white wall radials with date codes showing the last week of 2009. While they'll probably be at the top of the list of things to update in the short term, they show no signs of cracking or abnormal wear. The windshield shows no pits or defects and the rubber is solid. Wind wing rubber is also good with the exception of some cracking in the vertical window channel. The rubber channel on the convertible top shows a few small cracks. At even the closest distance, this 3.5 looks stunning. But keep in mind, it's a 34-year-old restoration that's been driven. So there are a few minor cosmetic imperfections to point out. There's a very slight wave in the passenger door and a minor dimple in the chrome below it. This is a small bubble in the left front fender above the headlight and there are a couple of more here. There's a crack at the edge of the trunk lid here, a chip on the cowl behind the hood. There are a few small imperfections in the front bumper and this touched up scratch and chip behind the front headlight. You've got to be very close and specifically looking for these for them to stand out. This is the left front corner. Overall, the rear bumper is quite good. These are the only minor imperfections on the rear chrome work. Check the auction gallery for a closer look at the owner's manual, service book, and receipts from 1990 until present. For more, check out the drive video. And the cold start and lighting video. The 280SE 3.5 was Mercedes' last true four-seat convertible until the 1990s. The classic lines, excellent build quality, and modern driving feel of these cars keep them high on the list for collectors and enthusiasts alike.